everyone, it's Ashley, and I'm here for the first changing video for sweet little Addison. Isn't she just darling? I put her into this little Burt's Bees one piece footless. Um, I don't know if it would be called a romper or not. I don't know what it's really called. Uh, just to see her sizing for a clothes that would fit and don't fit. This is a Burt's Bees. And I feel like Burt's Bees runs a little bit small, and this is zero to three. So for Burt's Bees, I think she fits zero to three perfectly. But I am gonna change her into this little Carter set. It has little cherries on it. It's like an antique blue with the cherries with the matching pants. The lighting's terrible in here, so I apologize. It is nighttime. And this little matching hat. And these little socks. And like a, it's not a white white, it's kind of an antique white. So I'm super happy to have this baby. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous. But when I got her and I got to feel her, I really fell in love. And it wasn't instantaneous. I had a hard time looking past the fact that this is Emily. But I think with time, it'll be okay. And I did reweight her and um, just tightened things up a little bit for my preference. Um, I'm not really a fan of glass beads. I like to weight with poly pellets. It gives the babies, to me anyways, a little more, I don't know, like gushy feeling, I guess. And I've been doing that for, for, for years with my babies. Um, I guess it would be kind of like a bean bag material. It's just a different feel in the arms. Like, not her arms, but like when I'm in my arms when I'm holding my, my babies. So this is a newborn outfit. I believe she is supposed to be wearing newborn since most of the clothes that she came to me with were newborn. But like I said, I wanted to try her in the Burt's Bees stuff that I had, and that was zero to three. So I was really hoping that she would fit into zero to three, and she does but that might just be due to the brand. And Burt's Bees Baby Online is having an amazing sale right now. I went on there and ordered a pink kimono style sleeper and a gray one for Carson. I thought it would be really cute um, to have them in like matching little outfits since they are a similar size. Carson to me feels a little, I think he's on a different body, but he feels chunkier to me. His body feels chunkier. She's more long and lean. That also might be due to like her legs are more outstretched than Carson's on the Levi. But she is just so adorable. I loved her when she was on Bren's channel and I love her here. Now this hat has like a little bear on it. I'm not really fond of that. So I was gonna put it on backwards, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. And I do wanna get this little girl like some outfits that were her own. So I have like an entire like wardrobe of newborn and zero to three outfits, but I like certain babies to have like a certain look and style just like depending on like what they what they look like. I think I'm going to put this on with the bear showing 
and then if it bothers me, I can always turn it around. Now I'm gonna show you guys her hair. Her hair is gorgeous. Oh, you can't see it because the lighting is so terrible. It's like painted underneath where it was where it was rooted. I'll have to show you guys in a video where it's daylight. And I tried a bunch of different pacifiers on her. I don't really like the look of the pacifiers on her because I feel like her mouth is such so distinctive with that little pout that I like to see that on her. I like to see the little pouty face. And she's going to be cuddling her, this little lammy. I haven't gotten to use this lamb with anybody yet. So I figured this will be her little lammy. <laughs> so cute. She's so cute. I was so happy that I got the opportunity to adopt this little girl. She's so adorable. Thank you, Brenda. And um, yeah. Oh, let me grab Carson. Oh, come here, Carson. You want to lay next to your sister? Huh? So here's Carson in his new outfit I changed him into. It has the cloud. And I didn't notice this when I bought it, but when I put it on him, he has the snaps all the way down the back, which I thought was pretty cute. Oops, he spit out his little pacifier. What a little grump. You guys can see them next to each other. <laughs> How sweet is that, you guys? <laughs> oh, adorable. They have like a different type of like vinish. Like his is like very smooth. Hers is very smooth too. Or maybe it's the vinyl. Maybe it's not the varnish. Now that I'm feeling them. The varnish feels the same. It's not a texture. It's definitely, I think the vinyl is different. So cute. <laughs> so I'm going to definitely have some fun. <laughs> Look at her little face. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely going to have some fun buying some girl clothes for a change. <laughs> and my Harper, which is the Greta kit, is for sale on eBay. Um, my eBay, I think it's the only thing I have for sale right now. It's 83088AMF8. So if you look me up there, you can see Greta's, Greta, aka Harper is what I named her, her auction. I sold my silicone puppy by Ping Lao, um, like literally 10 minutes after I listed that puppy it sold. So that was really good. And that's about it. I don't think I have anything else. Serena's gone home, so I got a chance to make this video. <laughs> she is adorable and she's a little helper. But it is nice to have some silence. It's been a long day. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these two little babies here. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.